I'm Chef Derek St. Romain, and my career is built around food. I'm an executive chef, a hunter, and an avid fan of all things food. I started out in some of the most famous restaurants in New Orleans before Katrina blew me up to North Carolina. Now I'm the head chef at the Duke Diet and Fitness Center and the regional coordinator for Backyard Bow Pro, an organization uniting farmers and hunters in the fight against hunger. Whether I'm running a professional kitchen or manning the grill at home, cooking's my passion. And today, I'm gonna cook with you. So let's get going. Today we're starting out at Ingles, getting all the ingredients to make my blueberry stuffed turkey burgers. Here's what you need. Eight tablespoons of chopped fresh basil, eight tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, two teaspoons of grated lemon zest, two cups of fresh blueberries, three cloves of garlic minced, eight ounces of Havarti cheese, two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one pound of ground turkey, quarter cup Japanese breadcrumbs, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon ground black pepper. Remember, all this is on the website at ingles-markets.com. So you can print a list and take it with you or pull it up on your smartphone when you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. All right, welcome to the Crest Center in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina, headquarters for Backyard Bow Pro. And as you can tell, I am excited. We are about to make blueberry Havarti cheese stuffed turkey burgers. Out of all the burgers that I've made, stuffed or not stuffed, beef, bison, anything, these turkey burgers are my absolute favorite. And I wanna show you how to do it just like I do it. If you've never had a turkey burger before, this is definitely one to try and to share with all your friends. So let's get going. I've already got all my ingredients out, measured out, weighed and ready to go. So I'm just gonna dump everything in a bowl and portion them all out. I'll call it out as I go along. Got chopped garlic. Got some Dijon mustard. Notice that isn't the yellow Dijon mustard. This is my salt, pepper and cayenne. Japanese breadcrumbs, of course, blueberries, lemon zest and lemon juice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all this together and I'm gonna separate all of it out into two ounce portions so that we can make it into burgers that's stuffed with Havarti cheese. This ground meat came right from the butcher department in your local Ingles. It's fresh ground turkey burger. Very easily seen, very easily found, and this is the 93% lean. I like using the lean burger because we're gonna add fat and mustard back to it, and the, the blueberries are actually gonna explode inside of the burgers while they're cooking, and that's what's gonna give it all of its juiciness and its flavor. So you're gonna get a, a really lean, healthy turkey burger but it's not gonna get dried out because of the blueberries and the mustard we're adding back to it. All right, now we're ready to separate them out and start stuffing those burgers. You'll see this recipe a lot online. You'll see other recipes that are blueberry stuffed turkey burgers. Uh, I just made this one mine by changing the mustard around and, uh, and actually stuffing it. I've never seen a stuffed blueberry turkey burger. So uh, adding the, the blueberries to the stuffing with the Havarti cheese and the herbs, uh, you normally don't see that. Normally it's just a turkey burger with blueberries, a little salt and pepper, and that's about it. So we're kind of jazzing this one up, giving it a little springtime flavor with all our fresh herbs. And definitely adding a lot of flavor with our Havarti cheese on the inside. All right, so now we're ready to make our stuffing, which is very simple. We're just taking a Vardy cheese, parsley, blueberries, and basil. We're just gonna mix that together in this bowl here, and then we're gonna stuff it inside of the burgers. And if you don't like basil, you can leave the basil out. If you'd rather put cilantro in there or something, that's fine too. Um, that's the great thing about using fresh herbs you can use whatever you like. If you have a lemon balm plant or a lemon basil plant outside, 
You can even use mint. Mint would be a great addition to this recipe. And we're ready to stuff them now. All right, so all we're gonna do is take our turkey, flatten it out on our hand a little bit. Take some of our cheese and herb stuffing. And then we'll place the other patty right on top. Pinch the sides. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. And now we're ready to go on a grill. All right, we got all our turkey burgers made now. So we're gonna head to the grill and start grilling. All right, we're gonna cook those on a grill on a medium heat for about 10 minutes. And you, you just wanna make sure it's not gonna stick on the grill because there's really not a lot of fat in there. So let them sit two minutes, turn it another two minutes, then flip them over and finish cooking the rest of the way. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. My mouth is watering right now. Look how beautiful those are. I'm gonna go ahead and build one for you the way I would do it. You can do it any way you like, but this is the way I would do it. I got some fresh greens from the produce department at your local Ingles and some tomatoes that I sliced nice and thin. I'll take one of the Havarti cheese stuffed turkey burgers, place that on there. And I've got some horseradish sauce that I bought right in the deli department at Ingles. Put a little bit of that on there. And look at that. We're out of time today, folks. Hope we had a good time making these turkey burgers with us. And don't forget, you can get this recipe, videos, photos, and more at ingles-markets.com. See you online.